Hi, I'm Nicola Rayhani and I'm a Professor of Evolution and Behaviour at University College London. And I'm really interested in the question of why individuals help one another. Most examples of helping behaviour in nature occur among relatives. And there's a good reason for that. It's because relatives share copies of the same genes. There are a few species that also help non-relatives and help complete strangers. Now, of course, humans are one of those species, but another species, just like us, that regularly interacts with strangers and helps those strangers is a small fish called the Blue Streak Cleaner Wrasse. So cleaner fish live throughout the Indo-Pacific on coral reefs, and they hold small territories that we call cleaning stations, where they offer a service to the other fish who live on the reef. We call those other fish their clients. The service that cleaner fish offer is ectoparasite removal. They remove the parasites from the surface of the client's skin. And in return, the cleaner fish get a tasty meal. Now, this all sounds quite harmonious and we might think that that's the extent of this kind of interaction. But in fact, there's a conflict of interest between the cleaners and their clients. What the cleaners would prefer to eat and what they find much more delicious, in fact, is the client's living tissues. So the cleaner fish would prefer to eat the mucus and the client's scales. So now there's a real obvious conflict between the cleaners and the clients. So what kinds of mechanisms can we think about that might be used to promote cooperation in this system where one party, the cleaner fish, is tempted to cheat? And it turns out that cooperation in this system is maintained by very similar mechanisms that we use in our own societies, specifically by punishment. So clients will punish cleaners who bite them and chase them around, and that forces cleaners to behave more cooperatively in the next interaction. And also a form of reputation-based partner choice, where clients pay attention to how the cleaner fish is treating other clients in the vicinity and they'll swim off and seek a cleaning service elsewhere if the service here doesn't look very good. What this shows us is that strikingly similar mechanisms can support cooperation in our own societies and in quite distantly related species like this small fish that lives on coral reefs. Thank you for listening. If you'd like to know more about cleaner fish or about social behaviour in humans or other animals, then you can buy my book, The Social Instinct, How Cooperation Shaped the World, or you can find my website, which is called the Social Evolution and Behaviour Lab, and that's at UCL, or you can follow me on Twitter, at Nicola Rayhani.